I'm Carl Champley, host of Wasted Spaces. Enter DIY's Great Garage Giveaway for a chance to win 50 grand to get your garage in gear. Like this. Now that's a garage. Meet Carl Champley, master builder, certified home inspector, and host of DIY to the Rescue and Wasted Spaces on DIY Network. Now the Builder's Show is not open to the public, it's only to the pros, but we'll take you inside. If the purpose of this show is to challenge accepted notions of construction, well then, we have a house demonstration out back that is a triple threat, combining energy efficiency, thoughtful design, and something that we all love, affordability. We teamed up with a wonderful network called Do It Yourself Network. They have a home improvement show, Do It Yourself to the Rescue. Marion, you have been through a lot. Katrina, and then these contractors came to your house and they just started ripping into the floor and they left. Good morning. Today is going to be a great day because today you're going to see real progress. Today we're going to completely build this house. When I say that, I mean the frames go up, all the walls go up, and the roof trusses are going on as well. So at the end of the day, you're going to see Marion's house almost complete. Well, with an army of ants, we have just lifted a wall that's 85 feet long. The first one up, a few more to go. OK. 54. All right, out of the park, this one. Yep. Oh. Yeah, that's a home run. Tools, it is time for this week's do-it-yourself tip with Carl Champley, who is live and in person with us here in Jacksonville. And it's amazing how, Carl, you sound exactly like Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, Carl. Hey, thank you, Boomer. It's great to have you here. What do you think of this American football wow. thing we got going great on? Great energy, here? very technical. And seriously, guys, just an honor to be here with you guys. Um, I've got Which... a uh, show that I'm co-hosting with Amy Devers called DIY to the Rescue. We've shot close to the 100th episode of that. Another show I, um, that's airing next January is called Wasted Spaces, and it's educating people about all the wasted space they have in their home. You know, we have so, a lot of wasted space in this booth. Yeah. Maybe you could help us get rid of our producer, Howie yeah. Denoff. <laughs> that would kind of free up some space in here, wouldn't it? Uh, no comment. No <laughs> comment. All right. OK. Carl's hands were meant for power tools, not guitars. If it was, had to be precise, I'd get a guide, but you know, we've got a lot of play. That's, that's the way I like to live my life. Nothing's without, precise. Without a guide. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> we're ripping the panelling into four by nine foot sections to line the wall. Beautiful. Like nice a pro. Saw. Well, how about we take these inside? Now, the most important part, Trace, is this. I'm about to show you. You've got to spit on your hands like that, and that gives you a little bit of grip, and oh. that's how we're going to slide it in. How about if I just grab that hole right there? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. <laughs> well, now the two main walls are up. We're setting out for these intermediate walls, and those intermediate walls will keep the walls plumb, straight, and it'll brace the whole building. Because we're building a brand new house here for Marion, one of the conditions we had to comply with the city is, is that we had to set this house back several feet. Reason being, her original front stoop sat right here on the pavement. Now there's a big advantage to what we're doing. It's because originally she had a porch, it was only about two and a half feet wide. She could only stand on it. Now we've extended that right to about four and a half feet. So now she can pop a couple of chairs on there, sit at it, chat to her neighbours, good for the community spirit. It was a great reveal and so rewarding. Oh, you know, it was yeah. a great I'm, experience. I'm the luckiest person in the world. And it'll have all the tips to avoid contractor fraud. We'll put a link to that on our website as well. Great resource. All right, coming up, we're not done here. We've only just begun. has just begun. That is very useful information. Thank you. <laughs> Here I am, knees down on this particular portion of a floor that mm -hmm. like Johnny Cash Absolutely. has played on. Or, I mean, <laughs> this is most definitely, you never want to strip this and you never want to no. repair it in any okay, way. Okay, we won't rip this up. We'll leave this where, <laughs> where Do it is. Do leave this one intact. Hey, don't drop him. Don't drop it. This is my new home. Granite countertops are going in that will house new sinks with a chrome finish. And there she goes. Yeah. It's a special place here, isn't it? It's wonderful. It really is. And I'm, I'm glad we get to put these pictures in and yeah. uh, they'll be stapled to the walls. They will be. 
and they'll, uh, yeah, I don't know if we'll permanently attach them to the walls, but they'll be there and, uh, you know, it can be up to you to move them around if you wish. Never, never know where I'll move them to. Let's staple them to the walls. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carl Champley and you're watching Wasted Spaces. Well, we've definitely changed the layout of the laundry room. We've got a new floor and we've got a new countertop. And now that we've made that room more functional, let's see if we can make it a little more attractive. And also, too, we took full advantage of these 12-foot ceilings by building a loft, which enabled us to bring Chuck's home office up here to a higher level. The Cape Cod, a most distinctively American home style. And the quintessential feature of a Cape Cod are the dormer windows. And what that means is it's simply a window that projects out from the roof line. Now, between these two dormer windows, there's valuable storage space down inside the building. Now, it's a very, very tight space, so the guys have actually hooked me up with this little gizmo camera here attached to the goggles. Great idea. Well, since the devastation here of Hurricane Katrina, New Orleans has adopted many codes. This is one of them. This here is a hurricane strap. It's used to connect this bearer to the walls. Because, see, so far there's a concrete footing. There's this huge bolt that goes from the concrete footing up through these blocks into this bearer. Now, we need to connect that bearer to the walls. Hey, mate, you got to put everything in the lockers at the end of the day? Are you hey. Irish? Good day. No, I'm an Australian. <laughs> I'm an Australian. <laughs> Well, I think the Team Cole would have really scored on this project. Thanks for watching. I'm Carl Champley, and I'll see you next time on Wasted Spaces. Um, sing to uh, Chris and I, or like crow like a rooster. No. Why not? Well, I'm quick crossing and crowing like a rooster. I, I read that in your bio. I gather too many old hens that way, man. Yeah. <laughs>